Hello everyone Elite TV Scientist. Here and in today's video, we will be going over Easter eggs and secrets from Daphook's new episode Skibbity Toilet 69 Watch until the end. If you guys do enjoy the Skibbity Toilet series, then don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive further uploads. Let's begin, shall we? Alright our point of view begins. With Agent Plunder cameraman fighting off a skibbity toilet, we see the toilet's weapon stab through Plunderman's hand few moments. After we see Plunderman have a weapon of his own, looks like the claw from Wolverine. I see something in the toilet's eye. I had to pause and keep looking for a few moments to see what it is. I searched online, and it's a reference from Valve that thing in his eye is a faucet. I don't think it does much since it's lodged in his eye socket. Plunderman takes out his plunger. And it has a better design to be honest I like the spikes. Few seconds in he attacks the toilet giving it a couple good hits and to the right. We see a human skeleton. Was there humans in the base or was the body here before the skibbity toilet race came? Plunderman raises his spiked plunger. Giving the toilet one final blow killing him, we turn to the right we see Dark Speakerman handle, and track a few toilets seems everything is under control. We turn to the left we see a skibbity parasite crawling towards him, trying to infect Plunderman, but he stands and fights it. We turn to the left again. We see a parasite on Dark Speakerman's neck and I thought he was gonna get infected and turn against us luckily he didn't and he took it off and got angry and killed it off we look back seeing other and fellow cameramen and speakermen behind us as it seems we are a squad and not alone from the looks of it they are just fine dark speakerman takes his knife from the dead parasite we look forward if we look to the right a bit we see skibbity toilets looking at us a skibbity toilet on fire, what is this thanksgiving? We see a skibbity toilet trembling, he is probably cold or scared. Are they in their bunks or being experimented on? The skibbity skeletons are alive somehow. Just like the skeleton mutant back in 55. The alliance seems very determined and confident. They are gonna be able to win this war once and for all. I love the speakerman dancing, it makes it feel so nostalgic. We head further within the Skibbity base area. We see a large darkened vault. What is in the vault? Is it an exit? A Skibbity monster? A secret entrance to a different path. We see a cameraman head get tossed against the floor. And as Plunderman turns around, looking up we see some Skibbity Terminator mutant. Killing one of the cameramen in front of him. One of the cameramen in the back fires the blaster but it has no effect on him. The back of the mutant is covered in some metal. The Terminator mutant approaches Plunderman striking with fist. But missed, then Plunderman attacks him with his spiked plunger. The mutant grips Plunderman's weapon and grips on his head almost or trying to rip it off. Then Dark Speakerman comes in clutch and saves Plungerman from Death Speakerman getting tossed away. Then Plungerman throws his plunger. At the mutant killing him, slowly blood is dripping from his head. Dark Speakerman nods and Rest advances forward in the base. We see more Terminator mutants in that corridor. Plunder cameraman and the rest of the Alliance members run inside. We see another toilet eyes covered with a beam then the cameraman blasts the door shut. With his device, the speakerman dance thinking they were safe. But it didn't last long until the explosion from this toilet. Who is one of the best dancers back in the old days? AKA Michael Jackson. Plunderman. Dark Speakerman and the other members run from the toilets. As they are outnumbered, Plungerman reaches inside safely, but Dark Speakerman grabs the device. 
from the cameraman, Plunderman telling him to hold down. Wanting to others to enter inside, we see other to surviving cameramen run towards us. But as they saw the explosion, Dark Speakerman activated and closed down the doors. Leaving the two cameramen to die, is Dark Speakerman a traitor? Because he left the two cameramen to die as they almost reached the doors, but he closed it on them. This got Plunderman very upset and angry because he left the two cameramen dead to MJ. If they waited any longer, they would have been dead themselves, as it seems he didn't have a choice. Dark Speakerman feels the guilt, sensing emotion from Plunderman. As Dark Speakerman doesn't fight back, but he probably understands. Because the cameraman faction are his family, and they stay strong together. Plunderman gives him a flip off he hates the toilets. The toilets cause many deaths to the Alliance members, it's sad to see his emotions. In a hatred scene, Plunderman turns around, we see a glowing light across the hallway. Is that where the toilets are held, or the main passage, or is, is that where the scientist is at? If you did enjoy this analysis, video be sure to like, and subscribe, and turn on notifications, and have a good day ladies and Gentlemen, Elite TV Scientist out.